Today I'm going to be showing you how to make up a bed. So first, uh, I did my hand hygiene and I have my gloves that I'm going to put on. I already grabbed the new linens for the bed and I sanitized the bedside um, nightstand so this is all clean. We have a draw sheet, a fitted sheet, a flat sheet, and a bed pad. Um, we also are going to, oh, and we have a pillowcase that we are gonna keep this pillow and take off the pillowcase and put the new one on. And the blanket is not soiled, so we'll be reusing that. So first what you wanna do is raise your bed to a height that's at your hip so that you're not bending down a lot. And since there's no one in the bed, you can um, lower the bed rails. First, I'm gonna get the blanket up because we are reusing that. Next, I'm gonna take the pillowcase off. And since it's dirty, I'll go in the soiled linen um, hamper along with the other linens, but the pillow will stay. Next, I'm gonna ball all of the linens up, making sure that it just rolls inward so that nothing gets out. Holding it away from me, I'm going to discard it in the linen hamper. If I got stuff soiled on my gloves, I'd need to take them off to hand hygiene and put on new gloves. But since uh, my hands did not get soiled, then I can just keep these on. So first I'm gonna use the fitted sheet. Next, I get the flat, or I mean, I'll get the draw sheet and put the bed pad over it. The draw sheet usually has a different color stitching on it. You just lay it across like that. As you put the different sheets on, you want to make sure to get out wrinkles to help uh, make sure that bed sores don't happen. And then on top of your draw sheet, you just put the bed pad. Next, we'll put on our fit, um, I mean our flat sheet. And I found the tag on this end, which means that this is going to go at the bottom of the bed. You can just drape it over the end because we'll tuck that in later.
Next, we'll put our blanket back on. And once again, I found the tags. This will go at the bottom. You'll, auto, you'll all also want to make sure that the evens, I mean, that the sides are even. So we need to pull a little bit more over here. And now we're going to tuck it in. So you're going to pick up the bottom of the bed and take your hand and sweep this underneath so that it becomes flat. on the other side. Okay, now we're going to do the miter's corners. You're going to take up a little bit, fold it up, make it kind of into a little triangle, and now we're going to tuck this part in. You can just pull that back down, and ta-da! It's all straight. Same on that side. Now I'm going to put up the bed rails because all I have left is the pillow. You also want to take the blanket and the flat sheet and fold it back down. Now for a pillow, the trick is to open up the pillowcase, grab the inside corners, and flip it inside out. Now find the tag on your pillow because that's going to go in first. You can pinch it and then pull the pillowcase right over. And then you'll just smooth it out. Lastly, you always want to put the bed in the lowest position so the patient can easily get in it. Then you'll want to remove your gloves and perform hand hygiene. And that is it.